and outer space, light travels 300,000 kilometers per second. One second, 300,000 kilometers. So two seconds, 600,000. One minute, oh, you just times 60. One hour times 60 again. 24 hours, you know how long light travels in one day? Very, very far. One year, that's called one light year. One light year, yeah? And then we have a telescope that sees 100 light years away. That means that is the light 100 years ago from the star that we are looking at. Because light travels light years. Diba, pag nakita tayo star 6,000 light years ago, how we are looking at creation time. Right? So, uh, very amazing. Universe is so big. And God created that. Wow, God is so big. Unimaginably big. The sea and the fountains of waters. No fountain, I don't understand why the water is coming out of the ground. Do you understand, sir? I don't understand. Why, why is you are in the mountain and the water is coming out of the ground? Yeah? Very amazing. Whether therefore we eat or drink, whatsoever we do, do all to the glory of God. The Holy Spirit will renew. Wow. Are you sick? Are we sick? Is there a problem with your organs? The Holy Spirit will renew every organ of the body that God's servants may work acceptably, okay, and successfully. Vitality increases under the influence of the Spirit's action. Have you heard the story? Rich people are sick, but when they started to help other people, they become well. Oh, when I'm uh, not feeling well, I start to give away bread there in Balibago and in San Pedro and Binyan to the people there. And then I forget my problems. <laughs> because I see that they have more problems. <laughs> but I help them. And then when they say thank you, I feel really good. So, the Holy Spirit will renew every organ. That's why when we want to help in God's work, God helps us. Yeah? And heals us. Wow, amazing. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye live through the Spirit, do, uh, but if through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, he shall live. Amazing. Okay. Our body and our spirit are fighting, but we have to follow the spirit. <clears throat> Beloved, now are we sons of God. And that he appeared what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This be they who separate themselves, sensual, not having the spirit. So there is the sensual part, and the spirit are fighting. Yeah? We are, we are aware of that one. And let's uh, surrender. Adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whoever therefore be a, be a friend of the world is enemy of God. Okay, there are only two powers in this world, good and bad. Do you think that the scripture said in vain the spirit that dwelleth us in lust to envy? Okay, so there is a fighting between lust and flesh and the spirit okay you shall not go for other gods or the gods of the people which are around you the lord thy god is a jealous god lest the anger of the lord be kindled against thee and destroy thee from the face of the earth when men and women are truly converted they will conscientiously regard the laws of life that god has established in their being thus seeking to avoid physical mental moral feebleness obedience to these laws must be made a matter of personal duty. We must answer to God for our habits and practices. Therefore, the question is for us, not what will the world say, but how shall I keep claiming to be a Christian? Treat the habitation that God has given me. Let us all examine our own practices to see if they are not indulging in what is a positive injury to them. Let them dispense every unhelpful gratification in eating and drinking. Some go to distant countries to seek a better climate, but whenever they be, the stomach creates them a maravillous atmosphere. They bring upon themselves suffering that no one can alleviate. Let them bring their daily practice into harmony with nature's law, and by doing as well as believing, an atmosphere may be created about both soul body that will be a savor of life unto, uh, life unto life. So Ellen White was not healthy before, but when she practiced healthy lifestyle, she said she is stronger than when she was young. Wow. Okay, next. 
a desire for Christ. I think this is the last almost. To Christ abide in the heart. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him and he in him. So keep commandments and God will dwell. And hereby we know that he abided by the spirit which he has given us. Wow. You see in this verse command. Commandment. And God is dwelling in us. And we are dwelling in him. And the Holy Spirit is given to us. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. Wow. Okay. Love of God. Very nice. So, pag binaliktad natin lahat yung mga kapatid, we are driving away the Spirit. Di ba? 